Okay, what if we were to learn a professional way to use our camera that is much, much faster? As is the case, a lot of people switch back and forth depending on the shooting situation that they're doing between single servo, single servo uh, autofocus mode and a continuous servo autofocus mode. Uh, simply by pressing uh, the mode dial on the front of the camera, I'm able to switch between single and continuous servo mode. That gets to be a bit of an issue. What if there is a much faster way such that I can use either single servo autofocus mode or continuous autofocus mode without having to switch? very very easy we have three different autofocus buttons on the Nikon D500 we have a half press on our shutter release button we know we have it on our autofocus button but we also have it for our uh, sub selector on our little joystick back here okay our joystick for actually moving our autofocus our autofocus points I'm able to use all three of these for autofocus but let me show you the sequence and this is a way to be able to uh, shoot a lot faster and also save you time in switching modes it will take you about 10 or 15 minutes to get used to it if you've never done it before but uh, let's take a look at that first we'll need to place uh, the uh, camera I'm going to show you an information back here into continuous servo mode all the time you're going to be in continuous but I'm going to show you a neat way how you can use this to shoot in single servo mode let's go to menu and then we're going to go to our custom settings menu and then we're going to go down to A8 autofocus activation as it's set currently default you press your shutter release button down halfway obviously your camera focuses depending on the mode that you have it in the rest of the way to take the picture what we're going to do in A8 in autofocus activation okay we're going to select that default is shutter autofocus on what we're going to go to is autofocus on only and we're going to go enable Okay. What we've done is we've uh, removed the autofocus uh, function from our shutter release button. Now the shutter release button will only fire. We've changed that to autofocus on button back here. This is going to be a lot quicker before you start scoffing. This is how a lot of professionals actually shoot. Okay, now that we've switched that out of the default mode, there will be a little asterisk right here showing that it's out of a default mode. Now we're going to go to F1 controls. With our sub-selector, we have another methodology of engaging autofocus. And so now we have autofocus set for autofocus on button. And we're in continuous all the time now, regardless. But I'm going to show you how you're able to shoot in continuous and single servo mode. We're going to go to our custom control assignment, F1. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go not to our sub-selector, which is the joystick. I just call it the joystick. Nikon calls it the sub-selector. The uh, sub-selector is moving it around. Pressing it in is the sub-selector center, meaning pressing it in. What I've done here <clears throat> is you're going to have to go to autofocus area mode plus autofocus on, which really and very simply means that when you actually press the joystick in, it is not only going to autofocus, but it's going to autofocus in a specific way. Now what you need to do here is you have a lot of options to choose from. Now the one that I use most is continuous autofocus uh, servo mode with 25 uh, point selection. This is great for birds in flight and most action. If you have a, water scope, a wider scope of action you could choose uh, 72 autofocus points or 153 or group which is 4 point or a total, uh, total automatic where it actually makes the decision based upon the moving subject but I'm going to choose as my second uh, favorite uh, autofocus methodology is 25 point and I'm going to select that so now I have two different autofocus set to engage my release is moved to my shutter release button shutter release is always a shutter release but now my shutter release will not autofocus well that seems defeative no hold on a second I'll tell you what's going on now okay with autofocus area on just simply going off of the back button autofocus or autofocus on as it's listed by Nikon I am able to shoot in continuous servo mode in continuous uh, autofocus uh, servo mode but by releasing the button at any point in time I am now in single serve okay so I've got some sort of object that's not really moving I want to focus on it I hit my autofocus uh, back button back button autofocus I release it it's the same as servo mode. I hit my shutter release button the rest of the way to take the shot. Very, very simple. But if I have a, uh, 
you know, depending on the dynamic range what I'm shooting, instead of shooting a static object, I have a moving object. What I do is I engage the subcommand button, and now it switches. It depends on what you have it set for up here. Right now, on uh, information, where I actually have it set, I have it in single point mode on my autofocus uh, mode button. And I want my second button, which is now set, to uh, 25 uh, autofocus points uh, for uh, shooting continuous. So I, this is actually a lot faster. With my uh, finger on the shutter release button, I'm able to hit the autofocus on button. If I keep it on and just fire as I go, it's no different than shooting in continuous autofocus mode. But if I actually press it and let go, that's absolutely no different than uh, shooting in single servo autofocus mode. And then I take uh, my shutter release button and press it the rest of the way to take the shot. This is a lot faster. Continuous and fire, continuous and fire. I'm always continuous as long as I keep my thumb depressed and my autofocus button or my back button autofocus depending on how you want to call it. Doesn't make any difference. I let go, I'm in single serve mode. If I keep it down and fire, I'm in continuous mode. No difference. This is a lot faster. But additionally so, without ever having to hit, um, let me hit my information, but without ever having to hit my uh, mode button up here for autofocus type and what this is type singular continuous now you're always in continuous but in continuous I can choose between keeping my back button autofocus always down for continuous or uh, letting go at any point in time and that's no different than shooting in single serve autofocus mode so now I don't ever have to change anything here either in my autofocus area mode or in my focus mode. My focus mode will always remain the same. Now if I want to change my autofocus area mode to uh, you know 72, 153, 3D uh, group, automatic, right now I'm in single serve mode. Okay, I hit the button once, I'm focused in, I release to take the shot. If I keep it down I'm in single serve uh, but I'm in uh, autofocus area mode single but if I hit uh, my uh, subcommand uh, dial excuse me my uh, my uh, my uh, sub selector button back here I am in uh, in uh, 25 uh, group area autofocus mode continuous and that's 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 great that's very very helpful so I'm in continuous 25 group here and over here I'm in single but I can switch this at any time very easily by hitting my uh, my uh, my mode button on the front of the camera and uh, using my uh, sub command dial uh, just forward of the shutter release button to change 3D group autofocus single 2572 153 which I shoot in single so now what I've done is my shutter release button like I said only works as releasing the shutter and not for autofocus but I have two autofocus buttons back here so I have one designated for one way and another designated for my second most popular. So now, if I want to make a choice between my autofocus uh, type of acquisition, single, or I can change this to anything very quickly, but I have it set for single and I have a continuous 25 over here. These are my two favorite means of shooting. Now I can shoot in continuous by keeping it held down and taking the shot as I go along. Or if I just hit it and let go, as it's autofocused and then release the shutter, that's the same thing as single serve autofocus mode. This is how a lot of professionals shoot. So now you know that you have three means of autofocus for traditional default way via the half press of the shutter release button. But now I've removed that from up front here and now I have two autofocus methodologies back here and the shutter release up front. So I'm able to choose between the two as the scene changes and things are dynamic. A missed shot is a missed shot is a missed shot. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Um, this is how a lot of professionals shoot. It really is. Um, it wouldn't take you more than a day to get used to it. Um, to be using two buttons. I don't actually have long fingers. I have no issue. Some people have actually complained that if they got little midget fingers that they're having problems hitting all buttons. But I don't really find that to be the case. I don't have long spider-like fingers, so I've got no issues doing it. This is much faster, and I don't have to sit here and actually change at all between uh, continuous servo mode and single. I just leave it in continuous all the time and in this way, the setup this way, I have continuous and single simply by releasing the button, the autofocus back button, autofocus button or holding it in for continuous. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.